Hey there, this is TC Made with TC Gaming. This is a follow up video to one of my previous tutorials regarding animation retargeting for Cinti characters. Slightly different approach on this one. So, um, just like I did in the last project, I created a third person template. This one doesn't have any starter content in it, and then I imported the Polygon Battle Royale pack. So what we're going to do with this approach is that we're going to use the skeleton from Polygon Battle Royale and we're going to um, reuse the template from the blueprints for the third person character. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go into our mannequin. We're going to go into the character mesh and find our UE4 mannequin skeleton. We're going to go in here and select the humanoid rig, which is already on here. And if you look down through this, I don't know why mine's doing this all of a sudden, but I have to expand this out so you can see it. But these are all mapped on the advanced side and also on the base side, where um, most of yours should be that way too. When you pick humanoid, it should auto map. The important thing about this is that both of the things that we're going to be using have to have that humanoid structure on them. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set my scale for the rotation grid snap value to 5 degrees. I'm going to take my arms and I'm going to rotate them up 45. And then I'm going to take the lower arm and I'm going to grab that little thing there and go back 20. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to grab the upper arm. I'm going to take it up 45 grab the lower arm, grab this little bar in the front and take it back 20. And what that basically does, it just gets it into a better T pose. So if I go over here now, I can say modify pose, use current pose. And so now I'll have a T posed humanoid rigged skeleton. I'm going to go save and I'm going to go into the Polygon Battle Royale pack. And this will work with any of these uh, skeletons, but in this one I'm just doing it because that's what I had last time. So I go to Meshes. I'm going to go down to Characters. And in the Characters folder, there is a skeleton called um, Topless Male. I'm going to double left click on that. And same thing, it's going to bring up a place to set up the rig. And you want to select the humanoid rig here this little drop down select humanoid rig and what that should do is the same thing that we had on the last one if we blow this up a little bit you'll see that you have your root pelvis this looks a lot better on a normal computer um, but it, it has everything all mapped for it so since these two things have the same mapping and they're using the same the humanoid rig and the same T pose it now makes it available for retargeting so if I go into my mannequin folder I'm sorry, not my mannequin folder, but into my third person blueprint. In the blueprints folder, I have this third person character. What we're talking about here is if you go to viewport and mesh, you would see now that I have the ability to pick these other skeletons that are from the Polygon Battle Royale pack. Okay. But what's going to happen is if I pick these, they don't have an animation blueprint to use. So they'll just stand still. You see how this guy's kind of like moving around? If I were to go in here and pick, I think in the previous video I picked business male. So he's just going to be in this T pose. Okay. But this is the skeleton from the Cinti pack. You can see here Polygon Battle Royale meshes characters, business male zero one. But he needs an animation blueprint. We don't have one in here for him. Okay. So what we're going to do, we can leave this here if you want to. You can compile it, save it, close it. What we're going to do is go into the mannequin folder and in the mesh portion, you should have, I think it's under here under animations. There's the third person and MBP. So mannequin animations, third person and MBP. If I right click this, I can say retarget anim blueprint, duplicate anim blueprint and retarget. And you'll see now that I have this skeleton available over here. Well, I can't see a target. And the reason is because I never selected a mesh. This guy right here, even though he's on that, um, it's not stored. So if you go in here to the character, 
Actually, the easiest way to get there is to go back down into this Polygon Battle Royale. You go back into Meshes, Characters, double-click the Skeleton. And if you look at this Preview Scene Settings, see this it says Apply to Assets. So Preview Scene Settings Apply to Assets. You can also get there from Preview Mesh and select which one you want and then hit Apply. But I'm going to apply it from here. So Apply to Asset and then save it. Now when I go back into that retargeting manager for the mannequin character mesh or I'm sorry character animations third person blueprint when I right click to go to retarget and blueprints now you'll see that I have a character there and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to prefix this with SYN or actually these are the uh, UE default so I'm going to call it UE underscore and I'm going to stick these in the folder instead of game. I'm going to put them right in Polygon, Battle Royale, Meshes, and put them right in here with the characters. And I should probably have an animation folder in here for that. But just for the sake of this little quick tutorial, I'm going to do it here. Characters. Let's say retarget. And what you'll see is it just pulled over all these little animations that will now go with that skeleton. And when I go back into my third person blueprint third person character viewport mesh I now have an anim class in here called UE underscore third person anim BP that I can apply to this guy because I put that UE underscore prefix on it and it basically takes all of the animations that go with that character that are set up inside of the event graph in here and the state machine for his animation blueprint. So if I compile this and go back out and I can hit the play, I will now have a Sinti character on a Sinti skeleton using the animations from the animation blueprint that were retargeted at that. And one of the users um, who had watched one of the previous videos mentioned that they had some issues with the way that the animations were running please try this version and let me know if this corrects the issue. If it doesn't, I have other methods that we can try and apply, <clears throat> but I believe that this will solve the problem. I'm sorry for coughing in there. I've got a little bit of a cold. But uh, hopefully this helps. Okay? So again, the whole idea behind this, just to recap, is that you want to make sure that your mannequin, character, mesh, skeleton is in a T pose up 45 and the lower arms back 20 and then you say modify pose store and you want to make sure they're rigged humanoid with the bones set and then you want to make sure that you have your Sinti skeleton so in the polygon battle royale meshes characters and the skeleton here same thing, rigged for humanoid. All of the bone mapping is done down here. Again, this will look different on your machine, guaranteed. Well, not guaranteed, but most likely. Um, and then we want to just make sure that we store the preview mesh on there. And again, if you don't have that, the other thing you could do is you go in here and say, okay, well, I want to preview this as business mail. And you'll see this pop up, and you just say apply to asset. You could also do it here. Say apply to asset under preview scene settings. Save. And then go to your mannequin animations and get the third person animation blueprint right click retarget anim blueprints duplicate pick your skeleton with your preview mesh on it give it a name and then hit retarget I would pick a destination also and again I probably should have created a folder in here under polygon battle royale for the meshes and the characters, I probably should have had an animation folder to stick these into. Um, and if you wanted to do that, you could do it like this, too. You could just go in here and right-click and say, New Folder, Animations. And then you can grab these blue, uh, little green animation things here. And even this uh, animation blueprint and the third-person blend space. Drag all those over to Animations and just say, Move Here. That updates everything inside of the engine. Save all that stuff. Hit play.
It should work for you. And then, you know, from here, since all those characters use the same skeleton, well, the beauty of it is now if you want to run around as different types of characters, you just go into any of these, your third-person blueprint, third-person character, you go to Viewport Mesh, and you just go over here and pick a new person. And any of these that you pick are still going to share that same UE third person and MVP because every one of the animations that you moved over to it have the same bone mapping and they all share the same skeleton. Okay? Compile. Save. Play. And now we're another character. Okay? This, again, is a follow-up tutorial to a previous one, and I rambled on a little bit here and there, but hopefully uh, it's enough to help you out. Again, I'm not a professional educator. I'm not affiliated with Cinti. I'm not an educator for Unreal Engine, just another person like you, hopefully, uh, able to help you out navigating your way through trying to get started with this fantastic product and these different uh, utilities and tools. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave comments below. Like, follow, and subscribe. I'll try to continue to get some updates out for you to make some other uh, processes a little bit easier. And uh, the next one I'm going to work on is uh, bringing in Mixamo animations and characters and remapping those onto your UE skeleton or remapping them onto a Cinti character so that you have additional animations here as well. Okay? Thanks for following along. Hopefully this helps you out and works a little bit better than the other one. Thanks again.